let's bring in our fair and pal balanced panel to debate. Talk radio hosts Mark Levine and Larry O'Connor. Mark, as a friend of the show, we should tell you, is also a member of the Virginia House of Delegates, in case anybody uh, was wondering. Larry, uh, to you first, as we kick off this Sunday discussion, we've heard now that the White House is trying to make border wall funding a hill to die on. At least they've said that they're willing to. Is that worth a government shutdown? Well, first of all, let's be clear. The government does not shut down. Every government employee gets paid. They get a paid vacation. That's how it always works. And I know your prior guest just said that it always backfires on Congress. Let's remember the last government shutdown that wasn't a government shutdown. Uh, the Republicans in the Senate actually grew their majority and took over leadership. So uh, it's not always a bad thing. Most American voters, when they watch this sort of thing, they know that it's just a political drama that the media loves to get involved with. Uh, that said, if you're going to oh, die on Larry, Larry, any hill... Larry, you, Larry you, even, you even have Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House, all but acknowledging yesterday in that conference call, look, if, if the government shuts down when you've got a Republican House, a Republican Senate, and a Republican in the White House, uh, it just doesn't look so good in the first hundred yeah, days. Yeah, I don't doubt that Paul Ryan said that, because let's face it, Paul Ryan has not really played the best political cards in the world. He's a smart guy, he's a nice guy, but he doesn't quite understand the politics of what goes on, not in this town, but in every other town across the country. That, that said, if the president is going to die on a hill, make it be about funding the wall for crying out loud. And it's a great thing, because he can stand up okay. there and say, understand something here. The Democrats don't want to protect the border, and this they're willing to shut the government down so that our border is not protected. I think he wins that fight. So, so, so Mark, is this a fight you're willing to take on? And I'm guessing you think you'd win it as well. Well, I, I seem to recall a certain candidate named Donald Trump saying that Mexico was going to pay for that wall. So I'm not sure why he needs it, any funding anyway. Whatever happened with that deal? Oh, I can explain mm. that if you'd like. Oh, 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 really? Yeah, tell me why Donald Trump backed down on his promise to the American people oh. that he said a hundred times that Mexico was going to pay for this wall, yeah. and now he's willing to say, I'm going to shut down the government if you don't let me do what I promised America I wouldn't do. Please okay, great. explain that. Thank you very much. And first of all, before I even explain, border crossings down 67 percent because you've got a president and attorney general actually saying we're going to prosecute instead of reward you for crossing the border. Border that crossings said, were down under Barack Obama dramatically said, after George W. Bush. As you know, oh, Mark, a lot Mark, of people Mark, are, Mark, Mark he, I'll he, answer Mark, your he question. Getting, he, was getting, he was getting ready to answer yeah. the question. Now, all right, go ahead. You're an elected official, so let me explain how the government works. Congress pays for something. <laughs> They're the ones who pay for it. They will have to pay for the wall, and then we get reimbursed by the Mexican government. The Mexican government actually can't pay directly for this, and I'm deal. sure you understand that. Have you seen that, that. deal? Can you and show it And how the Mexican me? government pays for it yeah, is by putting levies on top of all of the, the U.S. currency that is being sent back to Mexican uh, officials or Mexican uh, uh, citizens from those who are in this country illegally. I haven't seen Someone that deal being Someone wants to cross the border. It sounds to me like you want all our money now with the hope oh, that I maybe see. Mexico will pay for it. Later. It's great to Mexico hear a Democrat be concerned they, about taking Mexico all of our money, so thank you for, for that. It. Why don't we wait until Mexico okay, pays fellas, for it, fellas, and then we'll I, build the wall? Uh, okay, we, we, I think we figured out that there would be a lively debate on whether or not to fund the border wall, uh, however it is funded. I want to get your thoughts, though, on these poll numbers that show uh, the president's approval numbers at a record low. Take a listen to members of the administration defending the first 100 days. We're reducing the role of government in your life during the first 100 days, and we're doing so on truly a historic basis. Then you add um, uh, Justice Gorsuch. Um, no president has ever had a Supreme Court justice confirmed in the 100 days, and we're talking about historic accomplishments by this administration in the first 100 days, but all anybody wants to talk about is health care. All right, we only got about 15 seconds for each of you guys. Uh, first, uh, Mark, to you. So many liberals now in the media are touting these poll numbers as, as proof of some terrible first 100 days, yet only 2 percent of people who voted for Donald Trump said they regret that decision. Too early to claim victory? Look, the majority of people voted uh, to reject Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton won by more than 3 million votes. It's very hard for a minority president to run and win and do anything without reaching over to the majority of Americans, and he's not doing that. Larry, I'm, I'm guessing you're in that group that approves of President Trump so far. Well, even, even more importantly, can we just, you know, th th you're right, Leland, this is a devastating poll for Trump. We should ask President Hillary Clinton how she feels about that. <laughs> oh, that's right. The polls are meaningless because she had all the great polls she in November. She won more than three million votes more than Donald Trump. Right, you're right. Well, what does that get you, Mark? Well, uh, it should uh, get you the presidency. Uh, no, it doesn't uh, get you the presidency. I, I, it didn't for sure. Uh, gentlemen, great conversation. Mark, Larry, uh, always fun to have you guys. We will continue uh, this in the hallway, Mark. We will, and 
And uh, Mark, thanks for answering the bell here early on Sunday morning. My pleasure. All right, see you guys soon. Thanks, Leland. All right, well, great debate.